Hello YouTube, this is 3K Beats and I'm here to tell you about a way to hook up your Impulse 25 to your Bitwig Studio application on a Windows 7 computer. I was able to figure out a way uh, based on uh, reading and, and viewing certain videos and, and online. Actually there weren't any videos on how to map um, the Novation 25 to Bitwig. I had to, I had to go through and um, find some forms and read through bits of information to uh, to come up with a way to do it and someone actually came up with a way to do it because these guys create scripts. Anyway, let me just show you. The location where the script is, is here. This is the location. And let me pull this up. I'm going to pull it up uh, on the way up here so you can see. See, impulse control, impulse.control.js. So you just right click on that file and uh, save link content as and then you want to save it in your Bitwig Studio folder which is on your which is in within the my documents folder and then you click on controller scripts and that's where you would save it right there all right and once you've downloaded it go into your Bitwig Studio application or DAW, go into Options, go to Preferences. This will not be there. You won't see any of this, okay? So you've got two, two choices or two options. You can either detect available controllers or what I did was click on Add Controller Manually, okay? And then scroll down to Novation, Impulse 25. Now this is the script that you just installed and, uh, and saved on your computer. This script right here, Impulse 25. Okay, and what's going to come up is these ports, but these ports will be blank. They'll, they will be, they will probably say none. So you want to make sure that you that you click down and scroll down to Impulse. I don't know why mine shows two, but uh, yours will probably just show Impulse. So Impulse on the in uh, import this, I'm not sure what this is, but you need to have it set up. MIDI N2, Impulse, and then the out, uh, out port uh, would be Impulse, okay? So it needs to look exactly like this in order for it to work, all right? That's done. Now that we have it mapped, let me just show you how it works. So right now I have pulled up Dimension Pro, okay? So the keys work. Pads work. Okay, I didn't do any mapping of the sort. I just, all we did was set up that controller uh, script under preferences. Okay, uh, let's see. Transport works. Let me just press the um, record button. You see that? Record turned on or turned off. Turned on, turned off. Play. Play works. Okay, play works, all right, so play works, you can stop it, and let's see what else, ah, uh, the sliders, so let me get this out the way, and let's show you the sli how the slider is set up, this is your fader actually, not a slider, but a fader, and you see where the uh, volume slide is right here? So this works. It's already mapped using that script. The script is already mapping the pads, the transport, the keys, and the uh, fader. It also mapped the, uh, the mod wheel and the pitch. One other thing is you see these, you all are familiar with the, the uh, macros, right? Well, the macros are already set up too to each one of the rotary knobs, all right? Again, I didn't do any mapping on this. They were already set up using that script. I'm not sure why Fader 2 doesn't work. Something's in the, within the script, I'm sure. Maybe it's a bug or something, I'm not sure. Fader 2 doesn't work, all right? And you all can learn how to use these faders and set them up to um, uh, map to any one of these parameters that's inside 
your uh, VST. Like for instance, if I want this EQ uh, to go with this rotary knob number four, I just right click, map to controller, okay, click right click on this, map to controller key, there you go. Now we operate, okay? This no longer operates, but this now, this, uh, this parameter is now mapped to rotary knob four, okay? And you can do the rest of these the same way. So that's how you would do that, okay? Again, I just wanted to show you that uh, real quick. Um, if you uh, have any questions or, or you know, Anything to add to this, uh, go ahead and add a comment. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. But um, I just wanted to give you guys uh, something real quick just to show you that it is possible to hook up your uh, Novation 25 keyboard to Bitwig, and it does work. Um, again, there was a script that someone created online. Just download the script, install it into your computer in the correct folder. Uh, make sure you go to preferences again um, and get that set up okay thanks a lot